battle begins. Pompey and the Senate have formally declared that Gaius Julius Caesar is an enemy of Rome. They have declared that I am a criminal. They have declared, in effect, that all of you also are criminals. Our beloved republic is in the hands of madmen. This is a dark day, and I stand at a fork in the road. I can abide the law and surrender my arms to the Senate and watch the republic fall to tyranny and chaos. Or I can go home with my sword in my hand and run those maniacs to the Tarpian Rock! Surely he does not think to attack Rome directly. I think that is exactly what he will do. His speed is uncanny. Of course, he has only a very few men, which makes a fast pace easier. Never question my judgment in the presence of our enemies. You have a good memory, so you will remember that. And if my last coin buys me a throne, it's a fair price. The ram has touched the wall. No mercy. As long as he can be propped on a horse, it's dangerous. If he is still living, he will be a standard around which our enemies will gather. I ought to have you scourged and crucified. In future, you will remember that it is I that offers mercy, no one else. He was a consul of Rome! Shame on the house of Ptolemy for such barbarity. You will give me the man that took Pompey's life. I do not intend to fight. I shall merely arbitrate the various factions. When can I expect payment? Your grain ships must keep sailing. In that case, I shall have ample time to adjudicate your dispute with Princess Cleopatra. Him who bears his message is him that killed Pompey. Princess Cleopatra, sir, daughter of the two rams. A man without sons is a man without a future. Good advice, no doubt. If I wanted to control Egypt. You redeemed me from captivity. I am your slave. I will not rest until Rome is as it was in the Golden Age. The war is over. Join with me in building a new Rome. I'm not playing. Goodbye, old friend. This is not a game. I hope you're the best of friends, huh? Brutus, I have never doubted your friendship or fidelity. How is it? Much more comfortable. You know I've always looked on you as my son. Brutus, you've always underestimated yourself. You might achieve great things if you would but try. I must do my duty. Only tyrants need worry about tyrant killers. An act of gross criminality and disobedience. You'll make a lot of men very angry with your Gauls and your Celts and your plebs and such. I know. We timid subjects of King Caesar must learn to be tolerant. Hmm? Gentlemen, this is not some cheap murder. No! No! It is an honorable thing that we do. And it must be done honorably. In daylight. On the Senate floor. With our own hand.